The unlimited freedom of the oceans, the battle with the elements, a dream and a nightmare at the same time. Hallo Seeleitstelle Nordsee, Ihr Relationship Leitstand fortfangen. Ich wollte Ihnen die Position von unserem Relationship heute Morgen um 8 Uhr durchgeben. Es war 54 Grad, 45 Minuten und 21 Sekunden Nord und 6 Grad Ost. The sea is a hostile element for mankind and for technology. Testing our strength against the sea is one of the last great challenges of our time. The high-tech trimaran relationship is a project which brings a new dimension to this challenge. On three hulls, it will steer its course unmanned and will sail around the world. The world will be able to follow this unusual journey via satellite on the internet. Is it possible to steer a complex system such as a sailboat around the world controlled only by computers? The next two years will answer this question. Good morning, this is North Sea Radar with an information for all ships in Sector Bravo. The unmanned remote controlled Trimaran relationship is on course 276 with a speed of 6 knots. The Trimaran will cover 29,000 nautical miles in 290 days at sea. The ship and the software will be put to an extremely hard test. Its course will lead through the most feared seas on this planet. The rough Atlantic coast of Spain will be the starting place for this dangerous trip. From there, the trimaran will sail around the world in several stages and will return to its builders at the Expo at Sea in Wilhelmshaven in the year 2000. The initiator of this daring research project is the University of Furtwangen. In the idyllic Black Forest, of all places, an idea which will make nautical history was born. Here, also, the main elements of the trimaran were developed and built. The 8 by 12 meter long hull made the journey to water on the transport hook of a helicopter. This part of the project already proved to be extremely difficult and full of risks. This is a project that we were only able to undertake with the support of the various departments of the university. Professors, co-workers and students all voluntarily pitched in and resolved the various tasks. We must remember that we need the industry on board. It is a project that calls for a sense of adventure and really brings out team spirit. The sailing date out of Wilhelmshaven is close at hand. Time is pressing and not all problems are solved yet. Where to put the wind indicator? How can the sensitive webcams be protected from the tremendous breakers of the Atlantic Ocean? The builders and technicians are under enormous pressure. It's no wonder. After all, the inventors of the relationship are absolute pioneers. All of the solutions that are built into this ship have been specifically invented for it. For example, the entire sail mechanics hang on the mast because there are no other braces or anything similar. That is unlike any other ship. In order to replace the crew on board, the ship has a rotating mast, a fully automatic sail and a completely newly developed boom. Various sensors report the status of the ship to the control center in Fortwangen. At the Nautical University in Stettin, Poland, powerful computers simulate critical situations which the trimaran will face. It became obvious that the navigation software will be subjected to extremely hard testing. Ben. When we start in Spain on the first unmanned leg, this ship will have gained its first fundamental sailing experience through the journey there from Wilhelmshaven. Because this ship must first learn to sail. And this will happen during that crossing. The preparations for the first trial sailing in the North Sea are underway. The team is very excited. After all, the trimaran has never yet been sailed under high sea conditions. 
At this point, no one knows for certain how the ship will react. All systems are go. The ship is extremely fast. The team is relieved. What is Hewlett Packard's role as one of the main sponsors of this research project? HP created the entire network used by the headquarters and control center in Furtwangen. Headquarters will not only actively steer the trimaran, it will also handle the entire exchange of information and documentation. The ship will continuously transmit pictures into the internet. This is also the work of Hewlett Packard. The heart of the relationship is at the stern, the Imarsat antenna. It constantly searches for the strongest communication satellite in space and automatically adjusts itself towards it. All parameters of the ship are continually transmitted to Hamburg and from there are forwarded directly to the servers in Fortwangen. <laughs> 